Mix them and match them, switch them, swap them, you can slide them, you can pick them up, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. There's no wrong way to do this. Now it's outstanding, my friend. Come on over here. Now I want to see some instructions, so Kessler, can you please say,
same way this this is how this is started. We have to teach them how to catch a fish. So we're going to get two simple tips of love. Not a lot of you start by rolling a frisbee on the ground, like you would with a ball. It starts as a game of a tree. And when your dog gets used to that, it might take a couple of days or a couple of weeks. You can start lightly throwing the frisbee ahead of you, and you will realize that is part of the same game. When it gets used to that, you can throw it further and further away. And one more word of advice, folks, when you find frisbees at the dollar store or the toy store, they can be hard and sat in your dog's mouth. After the show, our electrical stations will be open on both floors. We have softer frisbees there, but we're going to buy because we make sure it's safe for your dog. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you, Mark. I have bad news and good news, everybody. The bad news is we have used up all the elemental dog toys that we have, except for the one that's missing. The good news is we have now been down to two super dogs now. We know one of them must be the cat in its size. Let's bring out the suspect. Okay, I see. I don't know what the story is. The good news is I still have 